days. This is the first official drive with the. Let me put the windows up. It's kind of loud. Turn the AC on a little bit. It's hot. But this is like the first official drive with the quick shifter. I drove it last night, but I had the stock ball on here, and I did not like it at all. And and I did not like it at all. Like literally, the ball shifter is not for me. Uh, maybe it feels like bigger and heavier, maybe. But other than that, like this one feels more natural. Like when you're when my arm is on the center, like on the center console right here, it perfectly goes parallel with onto the shifter with the old one I, my arm is like kind of like up a little bit higher and it was kind of like an uncomfortable feeling where this one is it's more comfortable where i can like not rest my hand but like i can put my hand right here shift put my hand back a little bit put my hand back right here shift and not have to go up and like it, it's it sounds very minor but to me it made like a huge difference and i really didn't like it and i didn't like how the sock or the the, the hair shifter felt so i put the stock one back on and it feels so much better uh, I think the stock, the Hirsch shifter stick made it to throw a little bit shorter, but other than that, this is still, it feels very similar. So still happy about that. I, I, I can tell it, it felt like it did feel, lose a little bit of range though, when I put the stock stick back on. Cause with the Hirsch shifter, you can barely tell I even put the car in gear. Like it'll be like, mm. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's in gear already. But yeah, so far it still is doing good. Oh yeah, I can shift so much faster. It still has that grind going in the second gear, so I'm gonna take it to the shop and uh, let them figure out what's wrong with it. I think it's the synchros. I did a lot of uh, research on it just to see uh, what it, what the problem could be, and everybody's saying that it's the synchros from the the the, um, the transmission. Uh, they just gotta get new ones. Really, is how it is from the factory. I mean, the car only has 33,000 miles, and I've only put like four or five thousand miles on the car since I've had. had driven it since i've had it six thousand miles since i've driven it but um yeah so i'm gonna get that taken care of hopefully like the the shifter itself feel not the shifter itself but the the uh second gear grind is gone all together a lot of people saying there's like the the tranny oil and stuff like that and a whole different bunch of different things but i'm like that shouldn't be the issue if if it's like grinding and locking you out at the same time but yeah, it feels so good. Now, I haven't done any hard pulls with it yet. Uh, or at least with this one. But I have done it with the other stick. And let's just say from a dig, it it grinds every single time going to second. It absolutely just grinds second like no other. And it's a lot louder than normal. You hear it like, mm, go, mm, ew. And I'm like, whoa, no, 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 no. And I bought two to fix that issue. <laughs> But other than that, it's it's a great uh, shifter. I love it so far. Um, but yeah, so far I love the way this shifter feels. Like it feels amazing. Like money, I, like actually money well spent. But oh yeah, also another thing I notice when you're like giving it a decent amount of throttle, I would say anything past half throttle, you will hear like this noise coming from the uh, this area right here. Not sure what it is, not sure how the the old shifter canceled out that sound, where, whereas the new sh upgraded shifter doesn't cancel out the sound. I don't know, I'm gonna read up about it and see how I can get rid of it, because I don't like that sound. It sounds like a car falling apart, really. It it just sounds like metal. It's, like, it actually sounds like a sequential gearbox on, a car, on this car, but it doesn't sound as crisp and clean as a sequential gearbox, if that makes any sense. Man, the throws are so short. Oh my goodness. Yep, see, grinded going to the third, and that was barely getting any, anything. Foot was all the way on the clutch, and it grinded going in the third. <laughs> now I can see if, like, if I was like pushing the car to like the red line and trying to power shift and stuff in a grind, because that that'll make sense. Like, obviously, it's gonna grind if I'm trying to power shift it, because I uh, don't. You know, have the clutch to actually engage because this car needs the clutch to engage into the next gear which is kind of funny like any other car you like you can like rev match it and throw it in the gear really fast but this car you got you have to have to have to put in a clutch no matter what so yeah i'm definitely going to take the car to the shop today to get that issue fixed because that 
I'll literally just be going like five miles an hour, not five miles an hour, like 20 miles an hour downshift to third. And all I hear is like, mm, just like that sound you guys heard. Hopefully it picked up on camera. But uh, yeah, hopefully it picked up on camera so I can like referen reference it if I need to, like show the mechanic what I'm talking about. Cause I know it doesn't do it every single time, but it does it often enough to where I'm like, uh, I'm paying way too much money for this car and the service that I'm using, it needs to be fixed. <laughs> And who wants to hear their car grind when they're trying to give it the beans, too? Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. And that's why exactly it's going to the shop today. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to reference this video to show the mechanic what I'm talking about. Because, like, I'm not driving the car like a-hole right now. <laughs> like, it mainly happens when I'm driving the car, like, I wouldn't say fast, but, like, I'm, you know, trying to get up to the speed limit, and I'm in first gear, because, like, first gear is, like, really short. First gear only goes to, like, 10 miles an hour before you're, like, actually ringing out the car. Like, I think 20 miles an hour is, like, where the first gear red lines, I think, around it, around there. So, like, around 10 miles an hour, the car is, like, at three or 4,000 RPMs, and it's sound like it's screaming. So, I shift right then and there, and boom, you, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is not right. Ooh, nice Jeep Grand Cherokee. I love I love that white and black scheme on a Jeep Grand Cherokees. But this honestly increases the drive feel so much. Like you can actually, it's just it's a lot more notchy than the stock one was. And I didn't like how notchy the stock one was. But this one, it just feels more precise, if that makes any sense. Like I can tell what gear I'm going into based on how notchy it is, honestly. Ooh, there's a mosquito in here. a clear road like a close course in Mexico I will show you guys some quick shifting in this car I just don't want to do it because we're a lot of people around not safe see my IATs are at 80 degrees right now usually they're a lot higher than this Ugh, 80 degrees and it's 76 degrees outside rolling with the AC on and everything so this car is working it's absolute hardest right now just Oh, that, that wrap on the intake works so well. And I love it so much. And if you guys want to know what that what app that was, that's like the fixed app. It's like the little OBD2 sensor thing. Let you know engine codes and all that type of stuff. And it also brings up live gauges and it lets you do, do like 0 to 60, all that type of stuff. It's just like a draggy, or almost just like a draggy for like the 0 to 60 type stuff. But it's just, I don't, I don't know, I haven't tried the 0 to 60 thing because I just saw it like right before I started making this video. So I haven't had a chance to try it out. Yeah, I want to try it out on a closed course just to see like what this car 0 to 60 time is and stuff like that uh, when I'm actually shifting okay. shift so much faster and smoother with this dock or this new shifter now i love it so much it feels amazing man when i tell you money well spent money is well spent on this thing if you guys were like skeptical about getting the shifter i would say 100 go for it you will not regret it unless you just don't like it for some odd reason which i won't understand why or i, don't, I wouldn't understand why it's an amazing shifter you will love it 100 percent 100% you will love this thing Bro, like that's a gear right there, bro Like, hold on, hold on That's a gear That seems normal, but Bro, that's a gear right there Ooh, we have a Camaro coming up behind us Wait, I'm gonna have to go back in and trim the The zip tie Because it's like almost poking through the uh, leather And I don't want it to, to break the leather And I really don't want to have to replace the boot itself Just unnecessary money that doesn't need to be spent or money that, that just doesn't need to be spent so yeah i'm gonna save myself the time and just trim it out because i mean really just gotta pop this off unloosen the four bolts and then boom is right there and i can just trim it again i thought i trimmed it enough but i guess i didn't